Okay, in this video, we are going to show you how to solder this motor to this speed control when there's wires coming out of both sides and you really are kind of like, what do I do? Do I make the best decision and just connect the ends and fold the wire up? Well, if you are okay with cutting the wire short, I can show you how to do it real quick. So, first off, I'm going to cut back the shrink tube here and I'm gonna desolder all three of these wires off of the board um, because those wires can be soldered back on, but obviously I can't get to these. So I'd rather leave these ones longer and keep these ones, or, and discard these ones, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so you can either take a razor blade or a pair of flush cuts and you just start or, you know, a pair of cutters of any kind, really, honestly. A pair of scissors would probably even work if you had them small enough. I'm just kind of... Don't cut deep. I mean, obviously, you don't want to sit there and snip your board apart, so... But... I do this stuff a lot, so I know kind of what I'm going up against. So, you see the soldering connections right there. Really easy to get to, and... If you have any soldering experience, it shouldn't be that difficult. But even if you do not have experience, it shouldn't be that difficult. So, before I weigh it down real quick, I just want to show you where... Well, actually, we will desolder these leads from the board. So, with a hot iron, you just want to take it and just give it a little pull pressure and those are gone. That's how simple and quick that part is. So, next up, you wanna find out where your wires are gonna be. Now, your center wire on this one is gonna be on the center lead, but the outer ones are obviously gonna go that way. So they're gonna be a little bit longer than your center lead. So when you're doing this, I mean, obviously mine is gonna be right here and pushing it that way. I want to give it a little bit of play on the center. So I'm going to snip it a quarter inch in. I'm going to do a quarter inch longer on that one and a quarter inch longer on that one. Because when those fold that way and that one folds that way, they will still be the same length here. Okay? Yeah, sorry. I like to be goofy sometimes. So we take and just peel back that really easy rubberized shielding they call, yeah, they call it <laughs> shielding. It's really cheap rubber. And right now I'm just tinning. So you're gonna take your solder, you're gonna put your soldering iron on your wire. It's gonna start heating it. And you just kind of pour, or just kind of put the solder right into the wire and kind of the tip at the same time and it just puts solder in it so now all my leads are done so obviously i'm not be soldering to that side so when i want to do this the way it's sitting is the way i want to do it so i want to flip these upside down like this so i'm going to put my weight here move this so i don't burn anything okay <clears throat> so I want to do my side leads first, just to put those, just to get those to their length, because I want them to come towards the center. And it's going to be hard to do the center if the center's already in there. So I'm going to take, fold back that one so it's not in my way. I'm going to come this way with it. Tap a tapa, tapa. Just, just, it's just a little tapa tapa. You know, if you're worried about the cleanness of it, just give it a little bit of work with that. Boom, clean. All this is a wet napkin, and it cleans the tip. See how clean it is? So if you didn't know that, that's a little tip to get the napkin clean. So now you can see that when your wires lay down, how smooth they're going to be to each other. And that it is it. Just pick off whatever excess stuff I have. So, 
Now your wires are smoothly wrapped together. You can put another piece of shrink tube over this, a big piece of shrink tube, and just shrink it down on the corners if you really want to. Um, you can put some electric tape or whatever kind of stuff you want to do. It depends on how fancy you want to make it. You can get red, red shrink tube and redo it all in red if you really wanted to make it super fancy. Um, but yeah, so once you're done and you mount it, you're going to have a little bit of play. But it's not going to be enough to where you can't just twist the motor in a little bit and be able to make a smooth pass. And see, I could have been a little bit more and taken a little bit more to where I had it more straight. But you never know. So it's up to you. Really easy way to solder. And then I'm obviously going to use um, two-way tape, the uh, 3M two-way tape to tape these to these with a zip tie around them just to keep the vibration of everything away from the, le the electronics of this is why I'm putting a two-way tape in or I would just zip tie it solid normally but I'm just trying to avoid any problems with any of these with vibration and I'm not saying that this one's going to vibrate a lot but yeah <laughs>